Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create three different types of infinite health cheats on Terraria. I'm going to try to make a series and show you guys a bunch of different cheats you can do on Terraria. So right now we're just going to start off with health. I mean, that's an easy one. It's usually the first one people get to. So first, we make sure you're hooked into Terraria. And then we're just going to search for our health. And we're going to search under four bytes because Terraria doesn't really deal with half values in our health. So it's most likely going to be a four byte value. A lot of games, if they either don't show you the number or you're, you're not sure, a lot of the times it's a float value. So we'll just do that. So 420, 420 health. Right, so now we have just under 2,000 two thousand results. So what I'm gonna do, I took this off because that lets me breathe underwater a lot more. What I'm gonna do is try to take some damage. Alright, so now we're taking damage. And we'll just get it down a little bit to a decent value. Alright, two fifty six. So we're gonna quickly two fifty six search for that next scan before our health starts regenerating like it is now. And you can see we're already up at almost 260, and you can see this one value change. So it's not going to be this one, because this isn't showing our current health. So we'll just double-click on that to bring it down here, and we'll just change this, change it to 100, see if it does anything. And it does. It lowered our health. So we can change this back to our max, and there we go. We're back at 420. So and we're going to try to write a script based on the instructions that access this to constantly show us our health value even if we restart the game we can just launch this cheat table back up and get our health value without having to search for it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click find out what writes to this address and we'll just see okay nothing's showing up I'm guessing stuff will show up if I take damage or get uh, health back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that and I'm going to find out what access this because I want something that's constantly looking at this number so find out what access. See, these are these are what I'm looking for. Stuff that's just constantly accessing our health. So Terraria has this nice thing where they they have everything written under classes. So I'm gonna look for one that seems a little easy to work with. And that won't mess up if we close the game and relaunch it a couple times. So I mean, especially with these classes here, it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, if they didn't have class, if there was no classes here or didn't really say anything other than just this stuff, um, you could really just pick and choose. I mean, they all might work, but you might have to redo this every couple of times until you get the right one. So looking through these, I see this one that says Client Clone, which could be a good one. I'm look through some of these other ones here. We can stop this. I don't really need it to be running like that anymore. Update. Update could be a, a good one as well. Even some of these, uh, update life regen, I'm not sure if it would uh, be be seeing it if we're taking damage or if we're just sitting still. I'm not sure. So we'll just go with, we'll go with client clone. I'm going to click show disassembler. We click on this show disassembler. It's going to bring up this right here. Here we can move this out of the way a little bit. So we see this. This instruction is accessing our health value constantly. So we'll just right click, see, find out what addresses this instruction and accesses and it shows our health and you can tell there's enemies on screen by my tornadoes having to shoot sharks at them so it looks like that's just our health let me real quick teleport back to home so we can see if the guide shows up and he does not so we're going to click stop close so we know that this we know that this instruction is only accessing our health value so we're going to click on Tools, Auto Assemble, because we want to write a script, and we're going to click on AOB Injection. Yeah, leave the address the same. You can change this to a name, whatever you want. We'll just type in Player. This is the template for the AOB Injection. All only happens is just moves our health value, which would be EAX plus 3D8, our health value, is being written into EAX. So we can just copy this original code, paste it into new mem, 
because we're allocating new mem, so you might as well use it. So from here, we're going to create a label. We'll name this player p health, p health for player health, and then we need to register a symbol because we're going to be using this outside of the script. So we'll name it the same p health. You don't want to use the same as this. I always create a new one for each different symbol, and then we're going to copy this because we're registering a symbol. We got to unregister it once we disable. So unregister symbol p health under disable. All right. From here, we can start creating our own script. So what we're going to do is we're going to move into player health. The way this works is uh, move the second number into this first one. Move the second one into the first. So we're going to move into player health. And what we're going to move into it would just be EAX. Just EAX. You don't need to, you don't need to put this. If you put this it'll just give you a an error all right we also have to write out something else for that but this will give you an error if you have two things under brackets so we're gonna get rid of that we just want EAX because we can add this in later and then you're gonna come down here under new mem you don't want to do this above it'll also give you a scripting error um, under new mem you want to write out P health because we registered this as a label so we want to have a, a label for it P health and then we can write dd zeros. Just fill that in with a bunch of zeros, like ready to be written in. And dd, I think, is uh, four bytes. And we know our health value is four bytes because we found it under four bytes. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to minimize this. What we're going to do from here is just file and assign to current cheat table. And then we can close out of this because we see our script right there. So we'll type in player because this is our player value. And right now, if we activate it, nothing's going to happen because all we're doing is moving our health value into a symbol. So what we need to do is add that symbol, which would be right here, actually. The brackets P health plus whatever that number was, which was 3D8. And you can put that 3D8 in the bracket, too, I believe. And then just type in health. And it's a four byte, yes. Click OK. And then once we activate this, it should write in our health. You can't keep that in the bracket. OK. 3D8. Look at that. There it is. So 3D8. So there's our health. When we activate the script, it'll show us our health because this instruction right here, this instruction is constantly accessing our health. So, we see that it says right there, and if you want, usually, our health value and our max health value are pretty close to each other. So I'm going to just right-click, browse this memory region, and you'll see down here this, this change. So this is where our health is. It always puts it to the top left, the value that you are browsing. And you just look around, see if you can find any other, and look at that, right behind it, there's two two more numbers let's change our health right now to 100 we'll see that right there see it changed to 100 and look these two numbers stay the same so I'm gonna assume that these are probably our max health values so what we're gonna do is, is just assign both of those add them to the list and we will try changing one of these let's see change this to 300 look at that it changed and it it changed this one as well the first one did so I'm guessing this is just a display value so let's try changing that and see what happens yeah just change right back to 300 so this is a display value we can just get rid of that press delete yes delete it all right so this is our display value and we can see back down here this is set to four bytes you can change that by display type and just change what you want so I've set to four byte decimal and if we go back that would be 4, minus 4, and then back one more is minus 8. So what we can do here to add this to our list, here, let me change this back. What we can do here is just take our health, copy, paste, control C and control V, and yeah, just leave all this the same. And we'll double click on this, our address. And we know we have the minus 8, so you can either write in minus 8, 
or just take the eight off by itself, you know. And we'll just change this to say max health, still four bytes. And look at that. Now if I change this, change it back down to 300. And look at that, it works. So we'll just change that back toward max health. And this is one way of creating a max health script. You can just have it like this, or you can just click on this and it'll just keep your, keep your number the same. Let's show you. Uh oh, get rid of my Sharknadoes. Let's go over to these guys and see. See that? They can't hurt me because I froze this value. I mean, they can hurt me, but it's not going to lower the value. Alright, so that's one way of doing it. Hey guys, so this is future me coming in to tell you that I'm going to end the video right now. I didn't realize how long this video was becoming. Once I finish putting together part two, I'm going to upload that for you guys. Stay tuned for that. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'm going to try to go through and create an entire table for anything you guys would want in Terraria. And if you want to see any other games, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.